Today we're going to unearth some history. This is one of the oldest garages on the property. I think it was built around the same time as the barn. If you look at the side of this, it has the board and batten vertical siding on it. And this garage was originally up front by the house. They moved it back, I think in the late 60s. And it has got what's left of the horse-drawn stuff, including the old buggy, the one that they actually used for transportation as they were transitioning into cars. It hasn't been down since the late 30s, probably. Uh, Grandma said that it was tied up in this garage when she came here. I believe she was here in 42, I think they got married. So we're gonna rummage through some of the old horse stuff and the buggy's gonna see the daylight for the first time and a long time. So this garage kind of turned into a catch-all. A little bit of history, cane poles. Just collect stuff. I'll be doing a video on some farm relics here later. But as you can see, it's a horse gear. There's that buggy. Old outboard. Bunch of history. So we're gonna start pulling this down, laying it out on the trailer. We're gonna get this buggy down for the first time in anybody's lifetime that's around now. See what kind of shape it's in. And uh, it's likely gonna be displayed at the fair next week. So. I'll take you along, see what we find. Up in the rafters now. We're just gonna get a, yeah, I can pick it up with this door from here. We got to move that one board back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we can blow that off. Blow it off when we get some pictures. You think it's a little bit of air compressor? It's pretty light, ain't it? Yeah. There we go. We're going to blow it off. I think if we tip the front down, we should be able to, or have you know, somebody hang on to it, and then we'll take the other part of the boat. Right. Really? It's starting to go. How are you going to? How heavy is it? Let's 
see if you can turn this into a new one. Oh, let me get the brush and brush that one. I think a vacuum's in order. Okay. Cool box. I'm looking. <laughs> Moonshine. It's probably in the back. <laughs> Nothing good in there. <laughs> Whatever that is. Luggage. Uh, Oh, that's some good. Awesome. That's cool. Oh, that goes up. It's a breakfast yeah. sheriff's bed. Oh, pretty. What is that thing? Did they brush it off? There, I'll set it down. I don't need any rats. Oh. Yeah, it's so there is um, there's other springs. Hundred years of dust. <laughs> yeah, hundred years of dirt there, no doubt. Yeah, we kind of need a vacuum going. <laughs> it would make it better. Looks like they went for a good ride okay. before they put it up. <laughs> good. Yeah. We should vacuum that stuff. There's so much of it there. Plug in here, folks. Yeah, let's vacuum. You can pull Easton around. Got the wheels on. Really cool. I think it's uh, worth taking some pictures here because yeah, there won't be any. Yeah, got it. Got a rubber on them so that they can ride. Actual wrench. Hmm. Reassembled for the first time in 80 plus years. Backdrop of the farmhouse, which was built in 1925. So this would have been out when this house existed and used. The wood ain't in bad shape. The mice and rats did a number on the seat. Overall, pretty good condition. Not rotted, because it was tied up in the old garage. Got her put together. Any buggy company, CO. Your whip holder. Pretty narrow seat. That wrench does every uh, bolt on it. The big squares for the hold the wheels on, and then on the end here. That's where the other nuts were bolting on the other things. Henny, Moline Plow Company, Freeport, Illinois. We'll wheel it in front of the granary for a couple more pictures and then it's off to uh, my aunt's and it'll be showcased at the Wright County Fair next week. July 21st, I believe it is. Wright County, Minnesota, Howard Lake. Well, here's the stuff that got pulled out of the rafters today. Bunch of pulleys and horse gear stuff. I don't know what it is. If anybody knows what this contraption is, let me know in the comment section. It's really fragile wood. I just 
just don't have any idea what you'd do with it. It's way too fragile to like be a little spot to tie your boots or something. I believe this is an old sickle section out of a pull type sickle mower, which I'll do a video on relics here in the next couple weeks. Stuff you find on a century farm.